Hello everyone, Tyler with Diesel Laptops. Today we are here in the middle of October 2016 and we are hooked up to uh, a Cummins EPA 2007 and newer international. Um, so we're gonna show you what the Texa can do. We're currently on version 39.1, which is the latest as of this recording. So we just wanna give you a good overview of everything you can do with a Cummins engine with the Texa. And as you're gonna find out, it's dealer level. There's nothing really missing in here. All the commands are in there and we'll be connected here any second. So we can kind of start showing you some things. So great, we always default to the fault tab, but we're gonna go over to the parameter tab first and look at some stuff. So right off the bat, we have 130 different parameters or different sensors that we can read. You'll notice there's a red and a green on the right hand side that represents your low and your high value while you've been connected to the vehicle. So we're just gonna page down here because a lot of times people ask, uh, you know, can I see this sensor, can I see that sensor? And they're all in there and we're going kind of faster. If we would pause it for a second, you would see the values would start to populate. So we're just gonna kind of click through here to give everyone a good indicator of everything you can absolutely see. And as you'll find out, there is quite a bit of information in here. Um, and again, I really haven't noticed anything missing when we compare it to the Insight software. Everything seems to be in place and in there like it should. So we'll just keep scrolling down here. You know, some things have a little question mark on the right hand side of them. That just gives us some more information on what that is if we would click the button. And as we go down here, uh, you'll see the position switches such as key position and uh, you know switches on or off or whatever it is are all kind of shown there. So over on the dashboard now, we're gonna get some graphical representations of those parameters. So you'll see on the first screen there, it looks like we have our fuel injection system and things just pause in there for a second. There we go, everything kind of lit up. Uh, here it looks like we have our air intake and turbo and there's some DPF stuff. So we can get a good feel for the subsystems in a nice pretty picture format. And we'll go back to one there. All right, so faults, this is where you're gonna find all your fault codes. If I double click it, you'll see I get my air code, which is the OEM flash code. We have all the troubleshooting built into it, but we also have built-in wiring diagrams as well. So we'll go through here, we'll pick the actual ECM that we have, scroll all the way down, and let's go grab this guy. We'll hit OK, and you will find out that we have the built-in wiring diagrams. It brings us right to the exact sensor, and we could then do uh, pictures that give us pinouts, show us exactly what we're looking for on that particular sensor and wiring diagram. So we'll go back to the page and go to the ECU info tab. And on this tab, you'll see where we get all kinds of information, uh, the make, the model, the manufacturing date, all kinds of good information and, and what's in here. So the activation tab, this is where you're gonna find your cylinder cutout tests, DEF tests, uh, fan tests, clear codes, anything you wanna do in terms of running a command on the engine is under activations and settings. So here we go in settings, after treatment filter reset at the very top, a very big one that you need to run once you actually do do uh, put a new filter on. There's a particular filter regeneration for the DPF regens, PTO settings, obviously there's a whole bunch of them that we can change in there as well. And again, reset the NOx, which is a critical command you need to run, tire sizes, road speeds, vehicle information, just all kinds of good information in here. So that's the video and thank you very much for watching.